In agricultural news from agview.net, wheat harvest in Kansas is underway. Kansas Wheat issued their first wheat harvest report on June the 24th. And the report started out like this. They said harvest got off to a slow labored start in south central Kansas over the weekend. The normal excitement and anticipation for wheat harvest can hardly be found in the area. Farmers who are normally finished by late June hop into their combines to face the muddy, dreary conditions for the first time this year. Farmers who are not typically folks who complain about rain need some hot, dry weather to really get those combines rolling. Now this is another one of those reminders, folks. This is payday for wheat farmers. and Just like many drivers, we're all going to be in a hurry. So that wheat crew will as well. Slight delay in your commute. If you're not a farmer, well, it's well worth the wait as these folks are your friends, your neighbors, and probably even your family. And we all want to get to our next destination safe, whether that is the next field or a function. We look forward to a safe and abundant harvest. Well, farmers who planted cover crops on prevented plant acres will be permitted to hay, graze, or chop those fields earlier than November this year. USDA announced recently the Risk Management Agency adjusted the 2019 final haying and grazing date from November 1st to September 1st. That will help farmers who were prevented from planting because of flooding and excess rainfall this spring. RMA also determining that silage, haylage, and baleage should be treated in the same manner as haying and grazing this year. Producers can hay, graze, or cut over crops for silage, haylage, or baleage on prevented plant acres on or after September 1st. They can still maintain the eligibility for the full 2019 prevent planting indemnity. Well, many of the nation's capital are casting significant doubt on the possibility of the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement getting passed through Congress in the summertime. Now this comes in spite of the fact that political pressure continues to ramp up. Congress has a long summer recess rapidly approaching and it's looking like Democrats are sticking to their ideas that the agreement needs to have a few more changes. Now that may push a vote on the House floor at least into sometime this fall. Waiting that long will only increase the risk of a much needed bill getting swallowed up in the politics of the 2020 presidential campaign. You can find more ag news online, agview.net. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.